On the biggest day of a political career which stretches back three decades, Micheál Martin arrived at Convention Centre Dublin alone, his family remaining in Cork due to COVID-19 travel restrictions. The impact of the coronavirus was visible everywhere, particularly inside the enormous venue where 160 socially distant TDs plus senators and MEPs convened for the day. 140 days since the general election, former foes were going into coalition. For those involved, it was impossible to overstate the importance of what was taking place. This is a historic occasion. Uh, I believe civil war politics ended a long time ago in our country, but today civil war politics ends in our parliament. The immediate task of the Doyle was to elect a Taoiseach. The Green Party leader contended that Micheál Martin was the right man in the right place at the right time. I know from direct experience he's someone who is calm in a crisis and is good humoured and has a value of social justice in his very core. Nine independent TDs announced they too would support Micheál Martin, but it was made clear that their support was qualified due to perceived weaknesses in the programme for government. For today, I will loan my vote to Micheál Martin in the interest of forming what is the only viable option for government right now. The Sinn Féin leader was also nominated for Taoiseach today, but she conceded this was Micheál Martin's day and she wished him well. But the now leader of the opposition also castigated Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael for excluding Sinn Féin from office. So today's marriage of convenience is born of necessity, not ambition. To buy time, to keep others out, to keep others in their place. For the political establishment, it's their way or no way. Yet it also became clear that there would be an opposition within the opposition when Labour slated Sinn Féin over its general election manifesto. Their manifest, manifesto pre-election was a late, late show giveaway, something for everyone in the audience. But bills must be paid and the books must be balanced. And then a moment of history. Tall. As Fine Gael deputy after Fine Gael deputy stood up to vote in a Tall. Fianna Fáil Taoiseach, the microphone failing to pick up Leo Varadkar's approval. Taoiseach Leo Varadkar. In his brief speech, the man now elected Taoiseach said his coalition would have to work hard to build trust with the public who are still reeling from COVID-19. Recovery and renewal would be the themes. There is much more that we can and must do to help our society and our economy to recover. Starting today, this work will be at the very centre of everything the new government will do. At the same time, we know that there are other great challenges which we faced before the pandemic and which remain to be overcome. He also thanked those closest to him for their decades of support. Most of all, I want to thank my family and my community. Without them, I could have achieved nothing. My wife Mary has been a pillar of support and a partner for me since our days in college. As he was applauded from the venue by his parliamentary party, a brief word with his niece, who happened to be working in Dublin today. Then he travelled by cavalcade through Phoenix Park, walked into Orison Uchtaron for a private chat with President Michael D. Higgins. Then finally, he received his seal of office, a personal triumph for a politician who now holds the highest political office in the land. Such moments are fleeting. Within minutes, the now Taoiseach was whisked back to government buildings to break good news and some bad news to cabinet hopefuls. Paul Cunningham, RTE News, Dublin.